Hey y'all and welcome back to Caitlin's Corner. So we are celebrating Valentine's this week and the day of her reading, Mirabelle's Missing Valentine. Uh oh, the Valentine went missing. Where did it go? Let's find out. Mirabelle was very shy. She'd always been that way. She trembled at the thought of giving Valentine's away. Despite her nerves the night before, she crafted works of art. She signed the cards from Mirabelle. On each, she drew a heart. Oh, that's so sweet of Mirabelle. When morning came, she got up late. She didn't want to go. She dwaddled over breakfast. Her whole routine was slow. She forced herself to leave for school and hurried down the road, not noticing as time went on, she had a lighter load. What does that mean? She lost something along the way. Uh-oh. A lonely lady looked inside her empty mailbox twice. But after Maribel went by, she smiled and thought, how nice. Aw, so that lady was looking for some mail in the mailbox, but she saw Maribel's Valentine in the road. Construction workers sweating as they dug around a pole laughed to find a sweet surprise half buried in a hole. <gasps> Even the construction workers got a valentine that was in a hole. I guess Mirabelle lost two. A busy papa waiting for the light to change to walk danced around in circles when he heard his baby talk. Why did baby talk? Baby got a valentine. <gasps> Mirabelle lost three now. A jogger on her morning run got stuck in gooey gum. Something sparkled by her foot that made her start to hum. Look, one more valentine. How many? Four. Mirabelle lost four valentines. A garbage man enduring yet another rotten smell chuckled as he grabbed a scrap before the scooper fell. <gasps> Look, even the garbage man got a valentine. Then everybody heard a cry, <gasps> I've lost my valentines. And so it dawned on each of them, perhaps this isn't mine. <gasps> Mirabel realized she lost all her valentines and everyone she encountered realized that that wasn't for them. They hurried up to Mirabel, your cards have made us smile. Thanks for sharing them with us, if only for a while. Aw, I like that positive note. Mirabelle was happy that she'd brightened up their day. Now she'd made a few new friends, perhaps she'd be okay. So shy Mirabelle has made some friends along the way. In the most unexpected places, in the most unexpected way. That afternoon at party time, she joined in all the fun. She traded cards with courage and she beamed when it was done. <gasps> so proud of Mirabelle. She swapped cards and gave out her valentines to all the children. Skipping home when school let out, she paused atop the hill and realized to her delight her sack was fuller still. <gasps> So Mirabelle came home with Valentine's from her new friends at school. The end. So, I hope you enjoyed Mirabelle's Missing Valentine's and thank you for tuning in. I will see y'all tomorrow for another Valentine's Day book. Bye y'all.